Alrighty. Alright, welcome everyone to the 64 League Rankings, uh, 54-45. I'm here with uh, Robert, Low Power, and Dark Horse. Um, I changed up a little things out of suggestion. I don't have my own cards this time. I'm just going to use what's on the, the website. And, oh, I forgot about the background music. So, uh, before, before I go through, like, the panels, uh, I just want to hear the initial reactions of seeing it like you get up in the morning have your cup of joe and you saw the rankings what did you all think let's start with uh start with low i'm sure dark horse already knew so i'm just gonna try and gauge <laughs> low and robert's opinions about it um let's start with someone else because i'm still pulling up their rank rankings right now so i'm trying to see like so i can remember exactly what i thought okay robert um I thought these were mostly okay. I, I didn't know that Cobra had played all that much. Um, Dark Horse. Too high. He, he seems a little high thinking about all the other players he's above, but he did have some great placings. So it's kind of justified. Marbles I thought was a little high. Um, Cobra, I, I had no idea what his wins were, so I almost expected him to not be ranked, but I guess he pulled up. Uh, a little surprised to see him above Yobo. Yeah, I, I would agree. With that um, Shears, I thought there was a chance he wouldn't be ranked. Um, I'm not sure <laughs> how he made it on the it's, ranking. It's the Baltimore bias, like you know, it's the people. Oh, it's it's the it's the identity. I feel like thing. the pe there's the people with names bias. Yeah. It's like. <laughs> yeah. Well, I yeah. I'm looking at his wins and stuff. We'll get to him. We'll we'll talk more yeah, when we'll, we get we'll, we'll, we'll get we'll get to all we'll these people. To him, I don't, don't want to go into detail. Yeah, basically Shears is a fraud. So let's let's start it off with uh, number 54 is Yobo Light. Uh, Yobo, uh, he's he's an interesting dude. Uh, I'm not gonna talk about his gameplay. Rather, I'm gonna talk about him for a minute. Yobo <laughs> is like. He's like the biggest troll ever. Just like he's ingenuine about everything he does. He he's like a he's like a chronic liar. He's just like he's just known as a snake. Like he actually got on the ballot like at last minute and I looked at his ballot and it was the most collusion you could ever see out of someone. <laughs> and like <laughs> I looked at his ballot and he had like for people he had like 5.61 or 7. Point Four, three, like all these weird number combinations for certain people, and it was just the weirdest possible thing to ever see. So yeah, Yobo's a he's a character, all right. But uh, <laughs> going into some more of his his tournament results, his notable wins are Shears at uh, I think it was what tournament was that? Keystone. Keystone, and then Shalaka at Let's Go. Which actually upset the bracket pretty hard. Like I was there, and I remember everybody just freaking out about it. It's like, oh, Yobo beat Shalaka. Yeah, Yobo and Janko kind of threw people for a loop at that tournament. Yeah, that was nutty. Yeah, I had to play Yobo in losers because of that. The way it worked out. If I just beat Fire there, I could make so mad. So yeah, Yo Yobo had those those wins. Um, I'm trying to. See if that was it. yeah that was it. Uh, he had those wins, but he had a pretty bad Smash Con and he lost to Hipster and Supa and Boom Fan. Oh yeah, I forgot I forgot Hipster was on honorable mentions, so that makes that loss not as bad, but still not very good. Yeah. He also lost to Dark. I just sent you the the list with with the losses. I don't know if you have something like that. Oh, I just have the I have the ballot up. He okay. also lost to uh, Skyfire. Sky yeah, he is Skyfire. That's, that's... yeah. That, that was, was really that was a really bad one at um at ESB. So Finio, that's not that bad. Janko is like kind of bad, but Janko did have the one upset. Skyfire is is rough. Yeah, Skyfire yeah. and Hipster are, are pretty rough. And, and I don't I think, think the Janko one's that bad, honestly. I think just the Skyfire and the Hipster one. But something to note is that Yobo is kind of bad versus fox and falcon like, yeah he hates those characters when so. i play versus him it's like not even close and it's not like i'm that much better like i'm obviously better than yobo but not by how much i beat him by i think yeah, he's, he's definitely better versus the high tiers 
Yeah, like, yeah. I, I'll, I'll switch off between like Falcon and Puff against him. Just like depends on how I feel that day. I, I feel uh. like Yobu is a big wild card. Like just as a person and in his play, like. Like, for him to beat Shalaka, and, and that is a big thing, and why he's here is his win against Shalaka. Like, I feel like if he did not win Shalaka that day, I don't even know if Yoda would be on here. Maybe he'd be uh, even lower, but, you know. Uh, he wouldn't be on here. I, I, yeah, he might not even be on here, so that really boosted him, I feel. And, yeah, I agree that Janko's not really that bad of a loss, which I actually want to talk about Janko for a minute, because it's like, why isn't Janko here if Janko has that win over Revan? Or, I think you know. Janko might be later on. Yeah, there's, there's there's a chance that you we'll think, be talking about Janko Janko's, tomorrow. Janko's, you think Janko's higher than this. Yeah, he'll be later on for sure. There's no way he's not ranked, in my opinion. That's interesting. I I think he is uh, a weaker player than almost everyone on this. Uh, yeah, but his uh, results regardless. his results though, like he hasn't. What's his worst loss? Doctor Lampy and. What tournaments has he gone to? He, he just or went like... to Let's Go and Gommel, and he lost. I, he oh, I forgot he went to Gommel. Yeah, he got ninth at both, so it's like, I'm pretty sure, I'm not saying like who, but some people might look at that and, you know, rate yeah, him a no, little higher. Some people than... definitely looked at placings as opposed to wins and losses, which is really not what you should be doing. Yeah, you, you shouldn't that's, be doing that at all. <laughs> um, that's why I think I got ranked as high as I did, because people looked at placings instead of results. But... Um, really though, Janko, I mean, just, you know, maybe we'll talk about him another day, maybe, who knows, but <laughs> he, he lost to Dr. Lampy, that's... and yeah, he, yeah, he had the upset over Revan. He also but... beat Yobo. Yeah, okay, and he beat Yobo. Well, well, we like... don't have to go into him too much, but. Yeah. yeah. Dude I mean, his losses, aren't, his I losses aren't, aren't, like, bad, though, that's, like. Yeah, he doesn't have, the, he doesn't have bad losses. One. I mean, he has one pretty bad loss. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. Well, compared to all the other people on here, I mean. Yeah. But yeah, like again, the Yobo Yobo's lost to Skyfire. Um, that was pretty rough. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll I'll Skyfire's we'll talk we'll talk about Yobo player. more he, later. He, he used to be. Uh, I feel like he used to be pretty strong, kind of like last year, uh, 2016, and then he kind of almost retired, and he he came to a Nova Weekly. Uh, late in the year in 2017, and he seemed really out of practice. So, but I guess he's been been working it back. What, yeah. what was the tournament where Yovo lost to him? Actually, was that ESP? Yeah, ESP. Yeah, so that was after the the Nova Weekly. So I guess he'd been kind of getting back in the swing of things. Yeah, he I don't know. Because like I, defense, I had him at 60th. You you had him. You had Skyfire on the list. No, no. Yeah, I had Yovo at 60th. Okay, yeah. He was yeah. He was like really close to. Like my bottom, like twelve people, they were all pretty close. But he was, he was in there. Yeah, I had Yobo way higher, just because like okay. the the way I kind of ranked the people towards the bottom, it's like if they had a good win and like not that many bad losses, then I kind of gave them a bump. And then like people towards the top, I ranked them like higher if they had uh, no bad losses and like a good win here or there. I feel like people did not take losses into enough account, and that's not just for this batch. I'm talking about the entire rankings. Yeah, they like, are... that's like that's like all my list basically. <laughs> yeah, we I haven't just... we haven't got like when we get into the rest of even this batch, like some some of the people here have just crazy collections of losses. Yeah, yeah I think that's that... why like my list differs from so many people's, and that's why like my list is like almost nothing like the rankings because it's like. Some people have so many bad losses and they're still on here. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Um, people people definitely needed to look at losses a little bit more. Yeah, let me look at my list real quick to see where I had Yobo. Let's see. Let's see so I had I Yobo have. at 47. 47? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's that's over a lot of people. That's really high. Yeah. yeah. I mean I I mean I guess I can say now who I had him over, right? Well it depends. Well I'd actually no, no, have no, I mean that yeah, you... <laughs> I mean, no, it's up to him. I mean, just his vote is not going to tell anyone. That's kind of why. Um. Well, we'll sure. get into them a little later. Yeah, we'll, uh, Marvels we'll and into. NHL. Yeah. Let's let's uh, let's move on to uh, Mr. Clovadova, who I had the experience of playing as Donkey Kong, which uh, I was actually <laughs> notable win super. <laughs> notable win super. I had the experience playing as Donkey Kong, and the thing I have to say about Clova in his Donkey Kong is that it's I bad. feel like 
it, it's it's bad, but it's carried by Clubba, if if that makes sense. Like Clubba. No, it, I totally 100% know what you mean. He he doesn't necessarily do a lot of DK things. He just he just like outplays people. Yeah. I don't think he knows how to do an up air combo. I, I I do I, not think he does because I, I was trying to find clips of him and they like didn't exist. Like when I play him, if you play against him as Pikachu, it's just like a joke because DK has to do a combo. Like if the fundamentals are cool, but at some point you're gonna have to do a combo. If you right, you either have to do a combo or it's get like, like a read with a punch, and he doesn't do either of those. Yeah, things. He, it's like pivot grab is great, but. <laughs> When I pivot grab you, I kill you, and when you pivot grab me, you do 15%. Yeah, it's 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 basically like a Pika main in the suit of a giant ape. Like he doesn't yeah. play like Pikachu, of course, but he just has like the same the same fundamentals. Like you know, if you attack a shield, he's gonna grab you, or he's gonna up B if he's if he's in danger. And it's just like it's really really stupid, almost almost stupid to lose to it too. But he did it. He let's see, he beat me and. and he beat Dogs, Dogs Johnson. Johnson, so he beat two Falcons. Right, and... and then one thing that was not on the ballot since it was a regional was MVP Moms, where he did take a set off KD3. He lost oh, to him yeah. later. Yeah, I looked at that for he, Clubba, like, cause... So I'm pretty sure their their set, their first set were Clubba 1. I don't quote me on this, but I think KD3 went Falcon the whole time. And it was the best mistake. of three. Yeah, that's a mistake. And then when they played again, you saw Pika, Puff, like, yeah, he didn't do that in KD3-1. Um, I didn't... I, I definitely looked at that win. Um, and that's why, actually, I had Clubba at, like, 50th. I had him a tiny bit higher. Um, but it's only because I looked at that win. And the fact that he really didn't have bad losses. So I, I feel like without that win, so on, on what I'm looking at here, it doesn't have that win or loss. Without that win, it's, like, inexplicable why he would be... So he's, his wins are Dog Johnson and Supa, and his loss is Hammerheart. But why is he so much higher than both Supa and Dog yeah. Johnson, right? Yeah, it like doesn't make did... sense, but know that your two wins are those two guys for you to be so now, many points above One thing them. to consider, though, is but that he, a KD3 win. he did know. beat Tank, who did not qualify for rankings, but certainly would have if he had attended like enough events. He might not have been ranked, but he would have qualified like Tank's oh, a good for, player. For the, for the 100. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks a good player. Thanks and I mean, interesting. Clubba was one of those people that's like, he's so hard to rank because he doesn't have like a super good win if you don't look at the MVP versus moms. But he doesn't have like a bad loss really. Yeah. No, he, he didn't have a bad loss, but like it's kind of Clubba's fault because he just quit at Let's Go after getting knocked into losers. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah, so I don't... Be, like, yeah, you got you got to uh, count that again. It's like it's well, like, like a I don't thing. like who's to say who he would have lost to. Yeah, no, that is yeah. true. So like when you're like, oh, he had no bad losses. Well, he didn't give himself a chance to get one because he just left. Yeah, that I feel like that should hurt the ranking. Like, it's I, it's I, a I, weird. Just a little bit if you're. It's like you lost to yourself there. It's yeah. a weird metric. He he also DQ'd himself at SmashCon, hey. I believe. Really? I, I I think I saw that on there. I mean, he lost three times. No, no, no he didn't. No, no, was no. it Let's Go that he DQ'd? What yeah, it was, it was, let's, let's, it was go. let's Go. He just like left. SmashCon. I don't he know had all Pretty reasonable losses. He lost to Mariguas, Wizrob, and Narwhal. Those are three those people are I would expect yeah, those, to lose. Those are to. Fine. Yeah, yeah. I I do feel like yeah. Again, I don't feel like Club is donkey. Like when I look at this and I say Club of Donkey Kong Ming, I just think lies, all lies. Like, <laughs> well, not, yeah, considering, real. like, by far, like, miles away, his best win was not with Donkey Kong at all. Was, Kid, was Kitty 3 with... I mean, but Kong? wouldn't his second best win be Super? Oh, he go DK you know, versus you? you know what? Hold on. I so, actually... I don't know if Clava played DK in the first set with Kitty 3. I don't know if he played much DK at all that tournament. Uh, it really surprised me if he beat Kitty 3 with DK. <laughs> Yeah, Cause, me too. Because he didn't go DK the entire year. He only went DK. I mean, it should be on YouTube. Right? I can look it up. Year. Um, I don't know if that's on YouTube because it was in pools, like it was in division uh, pools. Okay. Um, there's a chance that like it was Falcon Pika and KD3 just got pwned, and then uh, you saw KD3 just go puff in the rematch. Yeah, Clubba, Clubba's interesting. I think Clubba. I'll I'll try and 
keep my my comment about this but i think club was on the way out as far as 64 goes he's kind of he's kind of had seen his days unfortunately he's he a good like, player he got, if he, he, if he goes married. to stuff yeah <laughs> on his way out <laughs> that's a funny way to put it well it's not like I'm not, he's not gonna die he's not like nintendo where i think oh yeah nintendo will keep playing he's gonna suck i think club is just losing interest yeah so, I, I agree with that yeah yeah i think he's 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 got more stuff going on in life. The, the skill, the yeah. skill is still there, definitely. But I don't know if he'll go to enough stuff. Yeah, for sure. I mean, right. I don't know him personally. All so. right, so let's yeah. move on with uh, Mr. Crunchroll. This is the most controversial in my opinion. And Robert tell was telling me like before the stream, you know, if you want me to be mean about it, I will be. So you know what, Robert, go ahead and be mean about this man. <laughs> Number fifty. Yeah, we were, we were trying to figure out who would be mean about. <laughs> So let, let's hear it. Oh, I mean, as usual. Okay, so I think Marbles was overrated here. Uh, if you look at his losses, they're terrible. He lost to Daniel, Ty Higgs, Seta. Where did he and, lose to and, Ty Higgs? Boss battle? And GT. Yeah, that the is, GT. That is, a lot, that is a lot of bad losses. The so GT lost one. I know people are going to okay, try to discount like the GT one. But the GT loss was really uh, bad, but. He went Ness game one, but he still lost to Pikachu. He still lost. He still lost. Like, he, still he, lost. he plays Ness. He plays Ness. Like, yeah. He has a Ness secondary. It might be a bad idea, but he has one. It's his idea, so you can't you can't John for him on I that. Mean, one. Most he of he thinks it's a, a legitimate Ness. secondary. Most of his clips on the video are of Ness. So he, it's like, okay. It's not like most of his clips the one of two and, and let's <laughs> let's look at his wins too oh, i was thinking of the boom one that's why it's not oh oh uh, uh, yeah let's look at his, yeah, wins, his too. wins are not yeah they're not that impressive Hip either, like... so he beat hipster like okay okay so he beat an honorable mention and horby, horby is his, his best win i think yeah so like he all also right. beat you but yeah you have like, hold on hold like on 20 losses so so all right no johns i'm not making any excuses for that game that Sounds match like I'm, I'm not making any excuses. I'm not making any excuses. That was the worst match of Smash Brothers I have ever played. More, more fucking collusion from Dark Horse. Oh yeah. No. <laughs> I, I no. drank a fifth and I went to the. No. Nope. You know the stage. No excuses. No excuses at all. I'm not saying I was tired. You both just played bad. Bad. Well, I'm not saying I was tired. I'm not saying I was busy streaming. I'm saying that was the worst match of Smash Brothers I've ever played. Is it recorded? Yes. Awesome. Oh, great. We'll watch that later. It is the worst. But he won. Watches it now. I'd, ha I'd have to think about like one of my worst matches ever. I think I, th I guess it would be against you, Dark Horse, at Boss Battle Two. That is <laughs> that is my own personal nightmare. My my first game against Dexter, uh, we had a total of four SDs. Wow. In a in a four stock match, so half the stocks. There's two on each of us. We we just looked at each other after that game like what the <laughs> we're so we're both we're just so, so bad. bad. This we're is just... like this is like top thirty two of Smash God. We're just SD. all right. So let's let's talk about Marbles a little more. Do you yeah. guys think that he was rated this high because he was ranked last year? Oh yeah, hundred yeah. percent. I did. It's, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's a lot of it's name recognition. Um, yeah, I I think that's it. People know who he is. They know he's they like they know he's a good player and they've seen him beat people before. And people don't look at people don't look at losses. They saw right. okay, he beat Horby yep. and Dark Horse, cool. So yep. he's up. Not yeah. enough people looked at losses. It's like literally they look at this like, okay, well he beat this guy in the head to head, so put him above him. But like I need we need to like next year's ballot losses are gonna losses. be in like big freaking red letters. <laughs> so everyone can see them. Where did you end up putting marbles, if you don't mind me asking? I I put him in like I gave him the same rating as I gave myself, which was a 5.4 but we were all in like the uh like the high 40s low 50s area i so didn't you pretty much i, I didn't rank marbles yeah at all. he kind of did i literally did not rank marbles at all and it's because he has three losses to three unranked players and then like you know Seta, yeah come on it's, yeah this is this is uh definitely one of my ratings i would want back just because i feel like i overlook some things like uh, like one of the losses. Yeah, I had marbles at here, uh, 67. Yeah, there you go. So he didn't make it on mine. Yeah, he he did not make it on mine either. Just cause uh, I he, just felt like his lost, losses were too on. bad. Like, 
GT, I think GT was actually on the list of players, but I feel like he was one of the like outliers where he actually shouldn't have made it on. I think it was there were there were definitely some land. questionable additions on the top 100. Isn't like, the one isn't the 100 just based on like placement? There's like a criteria of placements and. I thought it was just like anyone I, with this placement. Was like it works for the most part, but there's like a, like three or four people that just should not be on there. Right. I mean, GT is he's gotten better. He's oh GT's for sure. Not, he's a terrible not, like, loss. Like it's yeah, a he's still loss. he's still a, a bad loss for someone like Marbles, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Top one hundred. Sure. I could see him in top one hundred. Like, it's a bad, it's a bad loss. And Seta, like. No, GT belonged in top 100. There are some other people that did not. <laughs> oh, okay. It, and it's like... I haven't seen the list. I don't remember what Marvels is exactly like to the number what he was, but for him to lose someone like Seta and GT who already in ranked, you have to look at that and be like, okay, well, maybe this guy just didn't have that, that hot of a year. But I guess people just looked at like, oh, yeah, no, Marvels, he was he was ranked last year, so we need to we need to keep him on there. His best yeah, winner, yeah. His best like winner was Dark Horse, who has like literally like six or seven notable losses. <laughs> yeah, there are some, there are some pretty good losses. Like you have almost the most notable losses of anyone on here. So, the, it, it's I, I think I I think I looked it up. That like that it. has to hurt when when that's your best. Before winner. like I got the ballot, I was like, oh, Dark Horse is actually like he's been doing really good this year. Cause I saw him in like I think it was like two top eights or something like that. He had and I'm, a looking, I'm looking at the ballot and I'm just like, what the hell is this? Like, <laughs> so many uh, losses. Like, right? Years. It's like basically I just I found ways to advance in the tournament despite like more losses than I should have. It was weird. Like, like, like honestly, the loss to Marvels, the loss to Marvels completely set me up to make top eight at Shine. Because I played KD3 to get in instead of like Fire Blaster. All right, so let's move on from Marvels. Basically, I don't know Fire he, Blaster he, can lose to he, anyone too. He, <laughs> so could I. I yeah. think. All right, so I think Marvels is a good player, but he didn't have really that good of a year, and I don't think exactly he, he didn't deserve to be here. Honestly. All right. So oh, I don't know. I don't know about that. Let's right, well, move let's on. Not like shit on him, but yeah. <laughs> let's let's move on to Mr. Fifty One, which is Janner, who. I think, and I think now Robert told me he's a good player, and I'm sure Janner is. But I also feel like, in a way, he, he's he's so brand recognized for his combos, so it's like, oh yeah, you have to have Janner on here too. But I don't know how much damage he did as far as like. Uh, Again, this is another person that just didn't. He just doesn't have a lot of results. Positive. What were his wins? Marbles. All right, so his his wins were marbles and court. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't see court on here, but it was that's that because that was at a regional. Yeah. Okay. That one got an asterisk. Because marbles is like, come on. But yeah, court, so like, court one was like court actually like legit because I watched the set. Yeah, I've seen this. It, set. it was a good, but it wasn't on like the data provided, so it might have okay. been overlooked. Yeah, it's like I'm it sure some people. Wasn't, I mean, if he's this high. Either. Yeah, where <laughs> it kind of balances out. I mean, but also another thing to think about is that Court didn't have like a great year either. So it's like maybe if this was last year, it'd be like a way better win. I think Court had a pretty good Smash Con. He lost a Fire yeah, last year, but it's one tournament though. Yeah, like I, I feel like if coming over here and uh, well not over here, but to Canada and losing to Frey. Like even though I think Frey's a really good player, dude, that was such like, destruction. I feel like that's a match. I feel like that's a, a match that he should be winning. I'm just, like constantly. He had no, like, no idea. He had like no idea how to fight Ness, and it was like yeah. obvious. I'm like constantly pestering Salil to get that match up on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Is see it, it still not? It's Dude, not there. so me, me versus Frey, me versus Preston, and Frey versus Court are still not up. Well, it was that's like crazy. Half a that's year such ago. That's a big win for Frey too. All right. Well, yeah, I know. Like that was huge. That that's a really good video. Um. But I'm looking back at Janitor, and yeah, he he really he, he beat Marbles at low tier state. city. He lost to Mar Mad Rush, and that was like his loss. Yeah. He lost to Mad Rush. Yeah, he did lose to Mad Rush at Snosa. The Falcon does, man. Mad Rush kills him. Yeah, he did pretty well. Wow. He, he also beat. Wait, are we talking about Court here, or are we? No, talking no, no about... we're talking about Janitor. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so um, the, the court does, the court win. Um, if you want to look at look at it, like. If you want to analyze it, he beat Court in winners. Um, Court went Yoshi game one and Pika game two. 
and then Court beat Janitor in losers. Um, again, like Yoshi, Pika, Falcon. That's a hilarious set because it looks like Court didn't know what armor was. <laughs> like he'd never seen it before. That's actually a fun set it, to watch. It was, I really like that set. Watch it, it was an entertaining set for sure. Yeah. I, th I think Janner is, is a volatile player where it's just like, I think he has the ability to be really on and like take wins from court, but also he's just like, I think Robert said it like before streams, like, you know, he just wants to smoke weed and not care. Yeah, he just he just wants to smoke weed and do combos. Like he doesn't really want to win. His Yoshi is so funny because he just doesn't make an effort to like use armor in a defensive way. But his combo game is nuts. So yeah. like, sometimes he'll just like, do these crazy zero deaths like three stocks in a row and other times he'll just use his double jump and like jump at you and you just back her him and he dies and you just look at him like what are you doing <laughs> yeah i feel like janitor bad. like he definitely he definitely cares more about winning like recently than he used to but i feel like sometimes he doesn't care enough about winning while he's playing <laughs> if that oh, makes yeah. any sense like afterwards he's, he's like, like damn, damn i should have tried winning yeah exactly should've, so should've. he only like regrets it after he loses. Doesn't regret it in the moment. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people play like that though. I've never, I've literally never interacted, talked to, or played with Janner, unfortunately. So I have no, no beat on. Oh, uh, he's a lot of fun. He's a lot of fun. He, he seems he's like a fun nice guy. guy. He seems he's like a nice fun, guy. nice guy. He's very good. He's very good. So I, I, I wouldn't say, I don't know. And the court win was good. He, yeah. he just—he didn't have a lot of data going on, but that's, court, that's court a problem. Wins, the court wins, so I, I feel like his placing is generally deserved. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. Mad Rush is bad. I had loss and Marbles isn't really a win, but would you have him at low? I had um, I had janitor. Hold on, let me see. I think I'm actually looking at the wrong one. Give me one second here. No, actually, I'm not even going to say where I had Janitor. Never mind. <laughs> All okay. Right. All right, so let's, let's move on from Janitor. Hopefully he does well at the G5 combo contest. Maybe he'll he'll show something at G5. Dude, I don't know if he was trolling us or what, but he's like, I don't really have anything ready. Like, <laughs> like two days ago. <laughs> he's a liar. I, I really hope he's trolling us because this combo contest is like kind of falling apart with Court, Mariguas, and Dexter all not coming. <laughs> no, Mariguas is not coming either. No. Wow. Really? Yeah. No, you can only get funded so many times. Why does, why does Genesis have a combo content? Uh, we just, because it started last year, because we were like, okay, SmashCon is like an East Coast one, let's have a West Coast one. Ah. Uh. And then we're just kind of like keeping that rolling. Uh, okay, that's fair. That's fair. All right, so let's move on to number 50. Which is Knackle. Uh, Knackle's... He, he did it. <laughs> 317th place finish. Oh, wait, wait. Who was his notable win? His notable <laughs> win was you, Dark Horse. But... <laughs> and his losses are, are Hydra, Hammerheart, and CTG. I don't feel like Knackle had really that stellar of a year. I don't even know if... I can't even say, like... Knackle... No, and that's why he's I only 50th. I don't even know who Knackle is. <laughs> Knackle's a is dude's style? a good he's a good Kirby player he's in Texas, good. but I think like his loss to Hydra I can chalk up to like him being in his little Texas bubble and Mario was just like what do I do? Um, Back air. CT, CTG like okay that's a dude he plays all the time. Of course I could see him losing to him. Yeah, CTG is a better player, right? Like he's he's gonna be ranked yeah a lot higher. Yeah, than... yeah CTG is a player. Thirties. Um. They play, they play so so many really close sets though like game five last stock like it's not uncommon for them these two guys to do that um but yeah the hydra the hydra loss okay i, I can see that just because it's mario and he's not familiar with it. it's like court losing the nest you know um but the lost and then he lo he loses the he lost the people i would expect him to lose to like, yeah, Hammerheart's yeah, really yeah. good Hammerheart, against. Hammerheart, yeah. Hammerheart like, and CTG, it's like those aren't terrible losses. No, those are like Kirby killers. It'd be nice if he could have beat one of them, so he could have a win other than you. But yeah, yeah. It seems like he, I mean, it just seems like he doesn't have much. He doesn't have much to really show. I mean, he beat you. That's 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 all right. You're you're on here, so that's pretty good. But other than that, so 
So Nako was one of the other players that got ranked like this far, and I didn't have him on my top 64. And it was mostly just because like I didn't think he beat enough people to be worthy of a spot. I agree. See, he th didn't have any like really bad losses. I don't like he. See that and that that was the, that's the problem with your ballot is you didn't look at anybody's losses. So some people you put on the ballot might have had a good win and then a bunch of bad losses and didn't deserve to be on there or that high. So they they outplaced Knackle on yours because he really didn't have like bad losses. He lost to, he only I, lost I the ranked players. Yeah, but it's like it's he like, only lost the ranked players. Didn't have I don't know where to put him because he didn't have wins. any yeah. he didn't yeah. have any wins for me to be like oh he deserves this rank. It's kind of like he's he's beating the people that he's supposed to beat, but the people he's beating aren't really like like who who's his best win? Yeah, uh, you like, LL, that's not, that's and not. Uh, Jimmy Joe. Like, those are his three best wins, and let's go. I, al I also think people looked at placings again, and they saw 17th at Genesis. You see, that's the thing. I didn't look at placings, I didn't like, look at, at all. all. It was either. almost like... I can't but, like, he, he, he played Egg Mode. He played Egg Mode to get 17th. I had to play D-Tan. <laughs> so it's like... Ooh. Or, like, Shears. Shears had to play Protagonist to get to 17th. What? Yeah, exactly. Like, that's... Going after this year of all these tournaments with Waterfall format... Looking back at Genesis results, I almost wanted to completely ignore them. Because everyone just, played just like look four at, people. Look, look at the wins and losses. Yeah, but like... The, Those the, still count. Yeah, it just... It, it felt like such a worthless tournament to use for anybody outside of like the top 12. Wait, which tournament's that? Wins and losses still count. Oh, Genesis. Yeah, yeah wins and losses that still where, count. like you just have like no bad losses if you like play all right, but you have no good wins? Exactly. Yeah. Like, dude got... Seven, yeah. he, Nako got 17th at Genesis, he had no good wins and no bad losses. It's kind of what happened to Finio. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, it's, it's, it's so hard to rank yeah. people like this. That's what I'm saying. So it's like, I really didn't know it's where to like, like, I can you, I, just I felt like, can't vote like no data on someone, but... You know, just... I guess yeah. people voted him this high because they like, he they know he's a good player. Uh, I played him at boss battle. He uh, was ranked last year. Yeah, he was ranked last year as well. I think, so like, like, right around the same spot. And he wasn't, like, an easy opponent for me to beat either. I mean, I had a, I went Pika just because I'm like, fuck that, it's Kirby. I'm not about to lose to a Kirby this early. And uh, it was tough. It, I think it was, like, two stock, one stock, something like that. So definitely a good player, but uh, I didn't think he won enough to be worthy of this rank at all. Is yeah. he as boss yeah, as he um... looks in this picture? Is yeah, that dude, he's real? jacked. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, he's he's ripped. Uh, talk about Nack for a little bit more. I gotta use the bathroom. Um, but I don't wanna. What? He, uh, I think so he finished just... a commendable fifth in the uh, sexy sixty-four bracket. Yeah, I can see that. He mm -hmm. made it pretty far. Uh, showed a lot of shirtless pictures. I know he's trying to play online a little bit more. Like he messaged me, like, is he really? I think a yeah, bunch of people are. I, I, I want that. Like, oh, I want to practice. play you more, which is cool because. I need I need Kirby practice. Where uh, where are these he's people? A decent Kirby. I just hear these people are online. I just never seen. They don't want to play you. Yeah, no one wants to play me. Yeah, no one ever wants to play you. Like in person, Yo, online. Hero dodging you is actually the funniest thing of all time. So Hero doesn't want to get standard so combo over and over. <laughs> it's it's the so Robert awesome. effect. Okay, it's just like oh god, I have to play this guy again. It's just like yeah, I'd rather Caleb's, shoot my Caleb's the only one that ever wants to play. I'm like the opposite. I, when I get to play Robert, I'm like so happy because he's like <laughs> you just always a, doing the correct You're a thing. massive chest, dude. You're just like oh yes. <laughs> oh yes, yo guys, now that's, five that's, yeah. after after me. Real quick, now that Soup is not here, I played him online last night and I like four stock to Pico with DK. <laughs> my peak is trash. <laughs> oh, I saw that. Too. I saw that. My peak is trash. Okay, I can't help it. I want to oh, know crap. how the other games went though. I won he he destroyed me in the first like handful of games, and then I got a little bit better. Underwater but, smash, dude! It's Finger like smash. it's so bad. I can't do anything fast, like like quick movements. Ugh. All right, but yeah, who's next? Now days. that you're done in the bathroom. Uh, Lotto. Next. Oh shit. <laughs> uh, Lotto. Lotto. Who actually, Lotto. actually has wins. Yeah, he does. He has, he has wins. actual wins. Lotto was a pretty interesting. I Thank think he you. deserves the spot. He had a pretty good year. He had a good breakout year, in my opinion. Yeah. Go ahead and talk about him. He beat Sheer Madness 
his his regional homie, very strong Yoshi player, beat Hammerheart, a fraud, uh, and SKG. Hey, hey, hey. But he and, lost um, the shears. He did lose twice. the shears. Oh well, the second time didn't count for this and, year. And Young Kue. Well, so the thing is, he lost to a bunch of people, but all the people he lost to are like pretty good. Like Young Kue, yeah, shears, like his, marbles, his, his, CTG. They're all pretty good people. They're yeah, he like, lost the two. Terrible loss. He lost the two puffs. He lost the marbles, which. Oh, he also lost me. to me. Yeah, he lost to you. Um. So it's really his, his only, his like bad loss, I guess, is Shears. I don't know how he lost that. And Shears ended up ranked Listen, well. nobody <laughs> knows why you lose to Shears. I don't know why I lost to Shears sometimes. It's just like, <laughs> when you lose to Shears, you just have to reevaluate your life. It's just like, why did I just lose to this person? It's so dumb. It's like the Shears worst. is good. <laughs> why just, didn't Jam Jar no, just write? It's just a meme. Like, why, why didn't he just write SC69? Why did he do Roman numerals? Where? <laughs> Where did you put this? I'm looking at the card for Lodo. What? What? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure they never used Roman numerals. <laughs> what is that? What is that supposed to say? 69. <laughs> 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 just, they just didn't want to write 69 out there. I guess. I guess. I don't know. Um, actually he, what happened. He knew Shears would be like, oh yeah, 69. <laughs> Funny. So, so, okay, so Lodo had some good wins. I, I ranked him lower than this because um, his best win was a regional, like a guy he plays. Yeah. Yeah. I like I couldn't put as much stock in it. That, that's like, like okay. I had Janko lower for that reason? Uh, oh, I did. I had Janko, again, like kind of around here anyway. Okay. But, um, like, okay, did anyone consider my, like, my win against Josh at a regional? Probably not. Yeah. So, like, yeah. or, like, if I beat LD at a regional, like, does anyone care? No. Um, Have you I mean, I care LD? a little bit. Yeah, I've beaten LD a few times. I care a little bit, I but that's not, a pretty it's not going to be as much. It's not I've actually beaten him as Kirby and Falcon. I feel like... You beating people within your region is still kind of important, though. Cause it, no, it is. The day, they're still good players, you know what It's I mean? just not as important. I got, yeah, it doesn't hold as much weight for me. Um, but... But he had other wins. Yeah, he had so other wins, and that's why... If it had just been his only win, it would have been bad. But yeah. he had, he had Hammerheart, so... Yeah, he beat Hammerheart, he beat SKG. So, like, I definitely gave him credit. Dude's on my ballot. Um, just not this high. Yeah, no, I don't think he should have been the side, but I think he's like when I said, "Oh yeah, no, deserved." I mean, like he deserved to be on the rankings. He had a pretty good year, but I, no, yeah. not this high. I put him at like 53, 54, I think. So around Horby's uh, level, because like mm -hmm. he he just had a solid year, but 49 questionable. I I I don't know why he's rated this high. Actually, I guess it's I guess it's that sheer madness win that boosted people, but. I, I actually gave him the same rating as I gave Horby. So many other people in this area have like just losses to nobodies, and he doesn't. I mean, it, yeah, that's I kind love, of why I, I love, love looking at his wins and losses, and they're all notable players. Every every win, every loss is notable, like a worthy opponent to him. And not yeah, not, he, as, he only lost. No, <laughs> he only lost the rank I players. Had him. There's no. G I actually had him in like the low 40s because my ballot was mostly like, or who have you lost to? If you lost to bad players, I'm gonna put you right. lower. But yeah, he he only lost to ranked players. Yeah, that's fair. That's a good look. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But yeah, I, I still think he should be lower just because I feel like again people did look at that sheer match. I feel like win. I don't know. I feel like Lodo's like way better than what this actually is, but his results. It makes sense that he's around here. I, I haven't uh, played Lodo since SmashCon 2016. He's probably gotten a lot better since then, because I tried. Oh, I played him online a, a bit. Yeah, uh, he's he's a lot better than he was then. Next year, he match, just needs to pick up some more uh, out of region years, wins. His exactly. Years, it's kind of like mind-boggling the way that it went at boss battle. Like he kept on challenging Shears by the ledge, and then Shears would just jump back, and then like yep. DJC forward air. And it's like you play sheer madness all the time. Like, why? What is going on here? Why are you doing this? Yeah, that, I mean that's how we beat him. That's how Shears beats everybody. He just, <laughs> just he waits back, for you to go over there. Just pivot back, and that's it. Yep. Speaking of Shears and not <laughs> other Shears, it looks like we have number forty. Oh, 
not him. <laughs> Forty eight. Him. Shears and I don't agree with this rating and I don't think Shears himself agrees with this rating because he's got so many losses He's like I lost to everyone this year. I I yeah, actually had Shears at 48 Really? No. Yep. I'm, I'm curious. I had Shears on at 53 All right, that's so, so Shears I didn't look at his let's go results with as much scrutiny as I did his other results just because of the nature of that event, and we were we were like dead people the whole time. Um, but as far as his other tournaments, um, oh man, I forgot. Wait, my spreadsheet's being weird. I think it's a really good thing that real dead people are not that loud. Yeah. <laughs> um, you need you need earplugs to go in a cemetery. But other other than let's go, he really lo he really like only lost to people I would expect him to lose to, except for a Keystone. He lost to Yobo and Blood Peach. I feel um, like those are within his tier, though, don't you? So, like, yeah, so one thing about Blood the Blood Peach, Peach loss is, like, he just went Luigi and lost. I don't know, it was stupid. He was, like, mad about it afterwards. Um, he, thinks, the, he thinks Luigi is a counterpick, like, to Yoshi, so... Yeah. Um, you, don't get, you don't get to excuse it as a low... Like he had, when you so he had a couple of bad losses, um, like Battle Cow. He lost um, to Jimmy Joe as well. Not saying Jimmy, Jimmy Joe. Jimmy Joe. Yeah. Oh, battle Battle Cow's rough. Not ranked so. Um, but as far as wins go, Katie three. Um, he had he had a couple wins over Lodo. He beat Katie three. Um, and Mad Rush. He beat Mad he Rush. beat Stevie G. He oh. beat Mad Rush. He'd be it's like true, but I mean, I guess that's not. That's yeah. yeah I mean, it's not like good on paper, but still kind of good. Right. For like, he had he had a, he had a few solid wins. Um, the, I don't know how I feel about the loss of Manjaro at SmashCon. Who is Manjaro? Like, I uh, he's, he's the, the Shalaka's friend. Yeah, it's like the other oh. guy from Chile. I think it's from Chile. Yeah. Or Argentina, I forget. Chile, Chile, I think he's. Okay, he there could, I mean, he. I think he probably, with his level of skill, he would have been on the top 64. It's just he only went to one tournament. Yeah. But yeah, Shears, like, I had him at this point. Um, some might think it's a little high just because he had a, a couple bad losses. Um, but he had, he had like, more than just, like, two decent wins. Um, he had three decent wins. I think yeah. him beating Lodo twice is, like, very good. It's like, yeah. if you beat somebody one time, it's like, okay, maybe it's a fluke. But then you beat him a second time, it's like, all right, this is a trend, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I mean, I was surprised. I didn't expect it. As someone that beats him with Falcon. Hey, can we like, talk about, uh... <laughs> I think you, I think you can Fox, make a claim to this. Here's Fox was, like, going, like, to the wire with tacos. One match at boss battle. I was like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> I, thought he, I thought he was going to win that game. I was pretty excited. What character was tacos? Yoshi? I think he yeah. was Yoshi. Yeah, yeah he was wow. Yoshi. It's so I, funny. I, I know it's a meme to say Shears is bad, but I, I Lo said it. Shears is a good player. It's just really funny to keep saying. I think he enjoys it too. I think he enjoys people thinking he's bad. Uh, he enjoys it, but he also gets a little salty at times when people like keep mentioning it. He it's okay he, when he I mention loves, it. He loves the meme. He loves the notable win for sure. It I, is pretty funny. Yeah. I got my notable win. But it's not on here. So hey, where, where's where's like players? I remember one time it like blew up about like money matching shears, and he got like really upset about it. So it's like yeah, he likes it, but he gets so much money off money matches. It's nuts. dude, he does. He commented on this sometime. He is he's more people challenge him to money matches at a tournament than I have ever been challenged to money matches. In my I life. was supposed to money match shears like at every event, and then like every event I never get to play him because he's always doing something. Dude, it was great this year. People finally, like people I'd never heard of, finally started just coming up and asking for money matches. It was great. Why? I, was like, this, I don't what? know. How do you get that? I don't know. And it's, it's like they're like Baltimore sucks. I need to prove myself, and yeah. then they just get destroyed. It's the it's the notoriety of being Baltimore. And like when I money match Shears or I talk shit, I actually like Shears. I think I think he's funny. He's a good person. So like it's like a joke with me too to say like, hey, oh, I hate Baltimore. Person. I actually like I actually, I like Bart too. I like most of Bar Baltimore. I think the only non-Baltimore person I don't like is, uh, I don't know. Non-Baltimore person. Not non-Baltimore person. <laughs> but so yeah. You dodged my hundred-dollar money match. 
to my life. <laughs> it's funny because uh, <laughs> I remember like, as soon as he like as soon as he like showed us that uh, that Reddit post like in our little group chat, and we were convinced it was you. I'm so glad it was you. Yeah, that's so I funny. A hundred dollars. Bullshit. Oh, the alting. <laughs> that was funny. All right, so yeah, Shears, he sucks. Let's move on to someone yeah, who's, who's better. Which is uh, number oh, four. Oh wait, wait, wait! Seven. Why didn't they? Why didn't they put Pikachu as one of his mains? He didn't go Pikachu at all this year. I, don't I think so. he did it Beast. He but... did it Beast. And yeah. Yoshi. He... Yeah. I'm pretty sure he went Pikachu at boss battle as well. First fumbles. Hmm. He's a pocket a Pika. That was a close set. Too. Now the card says mains. It doesn't say every character you play. Okay, then why is Luigi on there? He played a lot of Luigi. I feel like I feel like his Yoshi is more like his main than anything. In yeah. yeah, Yoshi is definitely his main. It's his main now. All right, forty-seven. Young Q. Who is this guy? I All just, right, like, so who I'm is pretty this sure person? it's Young K. Young K. Um, who the hell is this person? All right, it's this dude in New Hampshire plays Jigglypuff. He's really he's, good, but he doesn't go to anything. All the time. He what? He's angry all the time. <laughs> I've never seen this guy smile. Um, but yeah, so like he goes to the Connecticut stuff, and last year he just he started beating Fire Blaster, like no matter what character Fire Blaster picked, I think. Um, so we're like, oh man, he's like getting better. Um, but we weren't sure because it's like that. Oh, okay, you're you're beating the guy at your locals. Um, but then he traveled. Um, he beat Lodo. He beat Shears. He beat Raichu. Um, he beat me, and he beat Fire Blaster. So, like, he picked up some good wins. And you could say his loss to Nintendude is bad, that's but a bad that's, a, that's a rough matchup. The dude only plays yeah. Jigglypuff. I don't um, think that's that bad of a loss. It's it's not, it's not like, a bad loss. Like, Nintendude's ranked. Um, but that's his worst loss, is Nintendude. Yeah. It's it's a bad loss, but for it being your worst loss, it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. The thing and is that if you look at like Nintendo stuff, like he doesn't have any bad losses for people to say like Nintendo is a, a really bad loss. This, this right. guy, Nintendo, so, like, now pretty their set at Shine, I want to say they didn't play that until like midnight. It was crazy. I didn't even stay or I didn't stick around for it. Um, Wait, how can you have a tournament match at midnight? Uh, they got like the Nintendo got local? super held up with melee stuff and it just took forever i would have gone home I, I, that, you, gotta get, you gotta get some sleep you can't play they that. asked they asked um yonke if he wanted to stay and play and he said he would this guy's so, just, i think that's a mistake I, I just don't know who he is i've never i like i went to let's go i had never seen this guy he was he's like a ghost he's just like a. Ghost. Uh, he was at he's let's like, go yeah yeah he's angry oh, and he pulls his controller sideways is, uh, he, is and, he actually angry, or are you just saying that? Like, no, he angry? actually just looks like, like he's not happy to be there. It's like, uh, it's like Kaz, also at the, in that same little local scene, just angry all the time. He just, he just like, balls up his hate like Jigglypuff and just unleashes it when he goes. <laughs> now, if you want, if you want to see something funny, watch the rankings video and watch his camera during his clips. He like moves around a lot, like waves his arms and stuff. It's weird. He's a strange individual he looks strange and he's got like the anime shirt so you know he's like a shut probably just like sits in his room and practices hey, yeah, 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 yeah. all day <laughs> super such a hater yeah let's not like destroy this guy on stream <laughs> jeez he's, he's been nothing well. but nice every I'm time i've kidding. talked to him <laughs> i'm kidding he's probably a nice guy but i just don't know who he is i mean he's he's obviously good if he's getting 47 on the yeah, I had him a few spots lower than this, but he was on my ballot because, again, solid wins and no bad losses. He's just he's just an enigma to me, and I just don't know what he's going to do next year, even if it's going to be next year. So uh, look out for him, maybe. Uh, I think I, I wonder if he would have been ranked if he didn't beat Fire Blaster. I don't know. That's pretty that, like, that, hard to say. Has, that, I think that's a win that really caught people's attention. The yeah. Fire Blaster loses to everyone. Apparently. I wish like, I played him this year. Jeez. Yeah, I'm glad I got to play him. Nah, yeah, Fire Blaster's good, like though. That might bump me a little bit. Fire Blaster's one of those people where it's like, he can beat he can beat so many people, 
but he can lose to so many people. Yep. Yeah. He like took a game off my glasses this year. I yeah, remember. he looked really good at that game. And then it's like, but then he just loses to like these people yeah. who are way below his skill level. It's kind of weird. Yep. All right, so let's move on to someone I believe is the stone wall for the mid high level. It's Cobra. I've always believed this. I said this last year. Cobra is just like this wall for certain players, and he's just so solid. And he, he he's, is. He's just such a solid. He's like the definition of solid in everything he does, which is kind of sad because he doesn't really get above that solidness but like his only bad loss is bark and then like he beats everyone he's supposed to beat so he's yeah just, he's just uh, as good now as the, bad loss. the <laughs> oh wait uh i forgot hit sun wasn't counted so i won't mention that um no cobra's good um i've had close matches with him not this year but I mean, uh, you can mention hit stun it's like so at, at hit stun he has a set win over joshi but joshi like He's they like memed and went to Samus, and it was weird. Um, yeah, he tried like Samus to him, and he went like Fox, but his Fox was like really bad. I was like, I yeah. know Cobra's gonna destroy his Fox after like 30 seconds of watching it. So yeah, the, the two events that Cobra has posted, he really, he really only has two wins, which are Mad Rush and Nintendo. Yeah, and, and then his worst, Bark. and then yeah. his worst loss is Josh. Yeah, if you look at his losses, they're like. Tacos, Dexter, Taco, like Tacos, Dexter, Isaiah, Fukuru, and Josh. Yeah. So when Park is your worst loss, that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Cobra, Cobra's just a wall. He he always will remain a wall. I don't even see him dropping. Maybe even increasing more. He's just always been a really solid player. And how he did, just how he did, needs to go to things. How did he get this high with his wins just being Nintendo and Mad Rush? He's just so solid. He just well, does, uh, those are not really those are name good. name recognition. Those are win. wins. N name recognition, a couple good wins, and no bad losses. Yeah. Yo, but he didn't how. even like. I guess. I had him at it I had him at fifty. It really not depends not, on like the person like, doing like, the ballot. Because those are like what they yeah. valued and what they didn't. Because you might just put somebody way lower for not having any like special win. And it's like, you're not wrong, but at the same time, you might want to rank them higher if, if you know they're good. So that's probably what happened. That's true. And he is good. All right. I had Cobra at 59, just because, like, I know he's probably way better than that, but it's like, how Black do I result. actually, how do I actually, like, put this guy on this ballot if he has, like, no, like, crazy good win? You know what I mean? Right. Just a solid Steve. All right. So let's move on to uh, this guy who's here. Let's, oh, yeah, let's talk about your losses, Dark Horse. Let's see. You lost to Daniel. There are too many. Dark Gentleman, Anakins, Mad Rush, Marbles, Young Q, Horvy, and Hammerheart. And yet you're still here. So let's talk about how you are possibly here above everything else despite all those losses. Like, what do you, what do you think? I don't know, man. Almost uh, all of those guys are ranked. Yeah, so also, fun fact, I had myself at 45. My ballot's pretty good. <laughs> um, all right, so let's go. Let's go is bad. I like can't even look at that tournament. Um, it was just a miserable experience for me and Cheers. Um, Mad Rush actually had a four to one comeback on me. It's the only time it's ever happened in tournament ever. Um, so that sucked. Smash Con. Well, we already talked about that that yesterday. Um, Dark General one beat me straight up. Um, the Daniel win was uh, a little different. Now, all right, can we talk about that Daniel win? Uh, we already did. We Lost. talked about it yesterday. Uh, right, collusion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolute still, collusion. Still, still, still count. That's. <laughs> um, so I think. Uh, so Genesis is a hard thing to look at because like, I didn't beat anybody and I didn't lose to anybody. You know, I beat Des and Paco. Okay, who cares? And I lost to Detan and Boom Fan. Okay. Uh, Detan was actually pretty close, but it doesn't matter. Who'd you go versus Detan? Falcon. Falcon, okay. Um, let's see. Snosa, lost to more Kirby's, lost to Knackle and Detan. Um, let's see. Gommel, okay, Gommel lost to another Kirby, lost to Revan, but I beat Preston and Frey. Destroy and I got, hearts. Yeah, I kind of just really disappointed everybody. Um, and then Shine, I beat Raichu for like the thousandth time. Um, and I beat KD3, and I think that's what people remember. 
It's yeah. just like that. That's that with KD three. So versus Raichu, do you normally go Kirby as well? Yeah, I've gone Falcon and I've taken games, but it's so much harder. <laughs> yeah, I, I like how I like, I like how you you put Fraser Nova win despite him not being on the ballot at all, which makes me sad. Fra Fra yeah, I mean, he is. You know, if all right, let's look at it this way: if uh, if Derek had gone to Gamel and also gotten ninth and not been eligible for rankings, wouldn't you consider him an, a notable win? Yeah. Yeah. All right, can I ask something here? If Frey would have made top eight, would he, he have would have been qualified? he would have been able to be ranked? That's crazy. Right. I mean, it's probably better off that he didn't, because like it wouldn't be accurate anyways. Like, how do you rate somebody that beats Court but then loses to Dark Horse? It's like right. two different things. Um. So, okay, so yeah, I have that loss to Dark Gentleman, but I also beat him at Keystone. Um, I beat Raichu again there. I lost to Hammerheart and Horby at Keystone. People that I beat at regionals, I beat Horby at New Jersey Quarterly twice, and I beat Hammerheart at MVP Moms. Um, and then at ESB, I beat Cheers. I did lose to KD3 at ESB. It was like the first time I've ever lost to him because I went DK the whole time. I'm really not happy about it. But I beat Preston again. I don't know. So, so I don't know. DK. So you, so you feel like you do beat KD3 despite him probably being above you. I have I have beaten KD3 a whole bunch of times. Um, and if and actually if you look at our match at Shine, he only beat me with Kirby. So when he came, at, I played him at a couple of regionals. I beat his Puff. I beat his Falcon. I beat his Pika. KD3 um, is a Kirby. I beat yeah I, I, I lost to his Kirby. I lost to his Kirby as Falcon, but I beat it as Puff. No reasonable. Yeah, so it's, it's just Kirby like taking games off my Falcon too. Yeah, it's not it's not bad. Um, they were like really close games. But yeah, KD3 is KD3 is good, but he's just a guy that I've he's like a guy a guy like Finio, where I've played him so many times and I've beaten him so many times that like I don't know. I have a handle on him, but yeah, he's really true. good. I mean, I, I'd like to see you guys keep playing, like, yeah. more serious sets, because it's like, I don't know where to put a match where you play DK instead of that, your actual characters. Yeah, yeah I mean, that was the thing, like, after SmashCon, I just didn't really feel like playing anymore. Um, so I was like, alright, I'm just gonna go DK at everything for the rest of the year. Um, and then I ended up almost making top 8 at ESP, I had to lose to Fyro on purpose, it was stupid. Wait, more um, Collusion? What's going on? Kind here? of. Oh no. You can actually see that one in the video. I'm up four to two on him in game three, and then I like stop and I ask everyone what's gonna happen if I win. And yeah, they say to make copy. What do you mean? What's gonna happen if I win? Well, I didn't. I didn't know who would advance. Like we weren't sure. So you oh, let did you, Fire did you like win? have to go home or something? No, but I was working. I was running a stream for top eight and I was commentating. Oh okay. I had like already committed so, to all that so stuff. Does, does this like affect like? future matches because of the way like waterfall is set up if you like throw matches like that um it was in division one pools and so it, it was does affect it, then. it was division one pools to make top eight hmm. the only way pyro could have still made top eight is if he had beaten stranded in pools yeah it was it was a weird scenario so i just didn't really care man all right so let's 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 back it up back it up now <clears throat> like i did last time i just want to talk about and i will ask everyone their opinions and i'll go down the list of everybody uh, i want everyone to tell me what they think about the players if they're going to be unranked or ranked higher just give a little bit more blurbs on the players let's start off with the uh, yoverlight dark ranked higher unranked uh next year yeah i think about the same about the same I think it's really about whether or not he can figure out those uh, Fox and Falcon yeah. matchups. He knows the other one so well. He just needs to get to get to his his level against Peek and Kirby that he has with these. I don't think he'll travel and I don't think he'll go to enough things to get enough results to change his ranking. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I I agree. I, I want to know what's up with his hands because he was telling me like he's taking a break. Yeah, I don't know what the deal with that is. I think he's gonna be too inactive. 
But he's he's uh, a very like, strong player. He's like a question mark. I don't know where he'll be. Yeah, to he's be just such an enigma. I, I'd either say he stays around the same, or he's just unranked and not unranked in the sense that like, oh, he's bad now. It's just like he just might not go to much. He, yeah, he needs to learn yeah. the, the Falcon and Fox matchups for sure. Because it's like he, because of that, he's gonna keep losing to people he shouldn't be losing to. Yeah. I think he'll either be around the same place or not on there. But he's he's a strong player and and. No one should look at his rank and be like, oh, it's it'll be an easy win. Yeah, no, he's, he's a strong player. All right, Clubba. Uh, for me, I feel Clubba's going to get unranked. He's just not going to come to things anymore. He'll continue. He'll either come around and be like, haha, DK, and he might scrounge a two, one or two wins out in like placement pools. Maybe. Yo, who wrote his blurb? I forget. Uh, Yo, boy. Yo, Oh, of course. Okay, so the Kirby thing is just a joke. But yeah, I have no idea. Yeah, well, if Yobo wrote you it, know, then you can't trust it. You never really it. know with Clubba. Yeah, with Clubba and Yobo, it's like... Clubba, yeah, I think he's going to get unranked. He's just He might come around tournaments, but he's just not going to make much of a splash. Because I don't think he cares enough. He's too... Like, I remember talking to him at Let's Go, and I'm like... He's like, yeah, I think I'm on my way out as far as, like, the, the scene goes. You know, I'm getting old. That's what he told me, is I'm getting old. And that's true. Club has been around for a while. Like he's he's a 2010 type of player. He was he was around the days of the first Apex or the second ones. So, I mean, how old is Club though? Ah, uh, he's like late 20s, I think. Yeah, late it's 20s. not even old at all. Yeah. Old to me, like to not be able to play Smash. It's you a pro, be but like, like but he's just got something. he's got a wife and a job, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's like something different. Well, like, regardless of your age, you know. He can't be like, sorry, honey, I gotta go play Donkey Kong at this tournament. Yeah. <laughs> you know, watch the kids. I gotta play Donkey Kong and get like thirty third or something. Oh, well, Dark Horse. I mean, he's got a wife and a job. He makes it work. It's rough, man. It sounds hard, but. Yeah, it kind of is. <laughs> Does your wife say, "What you playing that stupid game again? You don't watch the kids?" Or something. Dude, if there are kids, I don't know about them. <laughs> <laughs> have you have you tried getting your wife into sixty four? You just trash her. Like she is, has absolutely no interest on video games. That's she fine. just ignores the loud noises coming from the basement. Yeah. And kicks us all out at ten, which is uh, yeah. all the man children <laughs> all the man children at Dark's house. Yeah, she's not a fan of the Dreamland theme song. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Here's right. my girlfriend. She hates it. Let's let's move on. Marbles. Uh Marbles unranked. I I, I wanna <laughs> say like Either he, he can't, he can't get away with it again as far as this placement goes if he has another like year like he did. So that's why I'm saying unranked. I'm not saying unranked. Mar he's bad. I'm just saying like I feel like he has the potential to not be on here if he doesn't really pick himself up. I don't I feel know like he'll probably be. Him. I feel like he'll probably be ranked higher next year. Really? I feel like him experimenting with Ness. Maybe he's figured it out by now. Like where he wants to choose Ness and where he doesn't. Um, but that's just me, like, assuming that he's he's figured it out with Ness. Like, maybe he's using it as a Falcon counterpick, which I think that's why he picked up Ness. And then, you know, continue to use Pikachu. But he just can't be losing to, like, these certain people that he's lost to this year. Yeah, for I sure. just don't know how much of a tryhard he is and, like, how much he's going to practice. It, it seems like if he stays at this pace, he's probably not going to be ranked because those losses are just awful. But... I mean, he's been playing a while, and he's a decent player. I've played him. If he puts in a lot of work, he could he could I mean, get the level of skill to stay on the ranks. I just he might start playing. Uh, sorry to cut you off. He might start playing more online because of the CF1 thing. I have yeah. seen him online. So maybe that'll help him out a little bit. I'm I'm glad to see the console people are finally starting to at least. Try. Oh, Marbles played online a while ago. Like yeah. years ago, so it's, he's that's not like anything new to him. Yeah, he is. He was known as an online player, and then he moved towards uh, console. But yeah, my opinion, either he moves up if he puts the effort in, or he might get unranked. Uh, Janitor, for me, I feel like he he's he's where he's going to be, and it's not because he's bad again. I feel like I have to say this for a lot of people, but it's true. It's just like he's not bad. I just feel like he's not going to put the effort in to move higher. He doesn't have that same spark, that same 
that same goal in mind as some of the other people we've talked about like you know even like before like hydra or skg or like you know some of those young fresh people that are really into the game right now are gonna work their just their asses off you know i mean are you assuming this or do you, have you actually like spoken to about this what's that are you assuming that he doesn't have like a, a different mindset for 2018 I don't Dude, know. he just he just wants to smoke weed and do comedy. Yeah, I'm I'm go I'm like, like that's that's what he wants. <laughs> so I'm just wondering because you never know. Sometimes yeah. people's attitudes change when like they get ranked or you know, it's a new year. Yeah, it's very true. Dark, what do you think? For janitor. Yeah, I see him about the same. He's not going to go to enough events. I actually wouldn't be that surprised if he goes unranked because he doesn't go to enough stuff. Yeah, that's he, right. he could go to an event and like pull an upset, you know, and get his one big win and, and get a good ranking. I could see that happening. There's a decent chance. But like he had with Court this year. But yeah. He's not going to be a lot higher just because I don't think he... In a bracket format, like he just doesn't care about really like knowing a lot of matchups and, and playing hard against every single person. So. Right. Uh, next up, Knackle. I, I haven't played Nackle, I don't know much about him, I don't know his, his motivations. So I I feel like he could go higher or he might stick around this this bracket. Uh, what do you guys think? Dark? If he goes to more things he'll go higher. If he doesn't he'll stay where he is. Okay. Low? I have no clue. Um I have no idea really. I just I haven't played him enough and I don't know like where his headspace is. But uh, I think Nackle's a good player and uh, I think he could shoot up if he like actually does want to improve and take it more serious yeah yeah i i can agree with that Lodo, i i feel he can move up and he will move up because i know he's motivated like the fl scene is like probably one of the most thriving out of all the regional scenes so i can see Lodo moving up i'm not sure how high i, I feel like he can come he can get into the next tier next this year or next year whatever uh dark what do you think um I could see him just kind of sticking around where he is, uh, maybe moving into like the mid 40s, like okay. low low to mid 40s. Um, he's good enough to do it. Yeah, I think it'll be kind of a slow grind for him. though. I think if he like uh, just dials it back a little bit on like his whole speed thing, then maybe he'll get some better results. Like, because I don't know what he's in a good region, but I don't know how much his region really gives him a lot of potential for growth, you know, because he, he already beats almost everyone in his region. Yeah, no, that's the problem. It's like Lodo needs to branch out. He's got one of those problems. Like, I felt like a decently uh, strong region. Florida's kind of stacked, but they're not super stacked yeah. and, and they have a lot of the same characters. Yeah. yeah, I feel like someone like Lodo, for as good as he is, he shouldn't be losing to Shears twice. So it's like if you have all this Yoshi practice and you're still losing to Shears, you might be doing something wrong as far as like your practice or mentality. Yeah, yeah maybe so he'll start. start maybe he needs to work on. Like, yeah, like his just his patience, I guess. He was playing very like uh, unsafe for Shears by the ledge. Yeah. All right. Next up, Shears. Uh, Shears. I either where he's at or he might move up a little bit. I don't. I don't look at Sheard and say he's gonna have a breakout performance he's just gonna show everyone because I don't think he has he has that mindset I'm not sure if you can confirm that or not dark I, that's just what I think of Shears like he likes the game he wants to be good but he's he doesn't have like that you know I think Shears is gonna go down you think um, he's gonna go down yeah, yeah Shears he's focusing on doubles now more than singles and Shears um, is in like the same boat as me neither of us are like practicing or training or anything so, you know, if anything, we'll probably drop, be not because we necessarily get worse, but because more people just get better. That's fair. Yeah, I agree with that. That's fair. Robert? Yeah, I, I don't know how much he plans on attending. Um, Has he said it, it, seems, it seems like It seems like this year he's been kind of dropping hints that, that he's, he's, uh, he's getting tired. Um, so I don't know if he if he just wants to reduce his TOing or if he's actually going to stop flying to as many events. Um, but it, it's hard to say. I, I feel like he, he doesn't... This is a, not a dude that makes any effort to get better. And 
I don't expect him to get a whole lot better. Not on his but, own, but, anyway. but he's pretty good. Okay, that's fair. Uh, so he's, yep. he's not going to drop a lot, but I expect him. To I mean, it. he's definitely he's still going to attend enough to like qualify, even if. Oh he yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, eh. Yeah. That's but fair. going to a million events is like his source of improvement because he doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't practice. I imagine. Like, he doesn't practice. Right. He doesn't play online. So. Yeah. All right, uh, Young Q. I I I don't have an opinion about this because I. I just Yoon K, whatever. I just don't know him. I don't know him, so I have no idea how to how to take take him or consider. If he goes to more things, he'll go up. Okay. It just depends on if he has the money to travel. To yeah. be honest. Yeah. If he goes to more things, he'll go up because he's good enough. Okay. And he's a puff, and no one knows how to play versus puff. CCG, uh, his his second the second CCG. <laughs> I don't know. Some people are actually saying that Yoon K is like. The probably the better puff. He's not. Ooh, who are these people? Uh, I don't know. I've seen a couple people say it, but I don't know. He's not. I mean, CTG is not gonna lose to Nintendo, and Yonke isn't gonna take Z to last stock. Yeah, it's a good point. Yeah, it's a good point. All right, Cobra. Cobra, I feel he's either gonna stay rock solid where he's at, or maybe move up like a like an inch or two. Like maybe an inch or two. If he goes to enough things to uh, to get them better wins, then he could go up. I think it, it really depends on like who he gets to face, like match up with in yep. tournaments. Because it's like if he has another year like this one where he just doesn't face anyone that he can, that's just a little bit better than him that he can actually beat, then it's probably going to be the same thing. But if he runs into like someone, I don't know, I don't even want to give an example, but someone that's pretty good, he can move up for sure. I agree. Robert? I feel about the same way. I think he's probably going to stick around where he is. That's fair. Alright, and Dark Horse, uh, what, what do you think about yourself? For next year, I think there's a good chance I don't get ranked. Um, oh, really? Because I am going to be changing up a few things. I'm going to go to events and everything. Um, but there's a chance that I'm gonna be I don't know. It's kind of a surprise. But I don't I don't think I'm going to um, play well enough. I think I'm gonna lose to a lot of people that I'm not supposed to lose to, like way more than this year. So um, like good surprise or Yeah, yeah, it's a good surprise. Okay. But it's gonna hurt my play a lot. And the more I've gotten into all the streaming stuff and working at these events, um, the more stressful it's been to try and do a good job and be a player yeah that's fair. like it's it's really hard like i've done so much work for genesis and i'm gonna do an insane amount of work while i'm there and then i still have to play um so there's a chance that i just stop playing singles um so because of that i wouldn't be surprised if i don't get ranked if i do get ranked it'll be lower um do you do you balance the two or like do you like say okay do i like playing more or like doing production more is that what makes you lean towards uh doing um, production more or? so uh, one of the reasons i really like doing the production stuff is because i pretty much don't like how everyone else does it oh really okay. um not everyone else but like we'll have to talk about that some later Curious. yeah like i'm sure you guys have had similar experiences where you just did something because you could do it better than the people that were already doing it. Yeah, I did that yesterday. Um, I thought the cards weren't as good, but then Lo was like, oh no. <laughs> Lo was like, no, 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 just use the other ones. And I'm like, all right, fine, I'll be lazy. So I picked the lazy rope. I mean, the, the only reason I told you that is because you had like slides where it was missing info and it's just basically the same thing. But also um, moving to more of the production side is a more of a job and i've seen significantly more of a return doing that than i have as a player <laughs> so that's fair it's helped it's yeah, certainly yeah. helping fund my hobby um, so it's making it that's like not a burden basically right right like i i do a lot of work and it's a lot of it's fun because i get to learn things like a lot of the video and graphic stuff i've done like i didn't know how to do any of that before i started trying to do it um it was just me like sitting here for hours trying to do something until I figured it out. So that's like, that's kind of fun. I like that. Um, 
But yeah, there's a chance I just don't really play singles this year. So <laughs> you'll see a lot of uh, you'll see a lot of my Kirby and doubles, and that might be it. Well, you got uh, a good rank this year. Yeah, you got yeah, it. yeah. Go you out did. on top, right? Yeah, you did. I really wish I'd beaten Wizard. <laughs> Were you close? Oh, don't don't we all? Dude, that was it was so close. I didn't get to watch that. Oh, he was at like 150 percent and doing a regular ledge get up, and I I was Falcon and I up bead and I went through him and I died. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? How did you not fade back? Or did he like punish you for it? I don't remember. I think oh. I was I was so blown away that I didn't get it. I just died. Yeah, that's crazy. Cause normally that's free. Like, it was you, yeah, you get, dude. I a little too early. I did it a little bit too early because it was a slow get up. Um, yeah, that sucks. Okay. I I hit up B, and during the up B animation, I stood up ready to be really excited, and then I was immediately crushed. But was it like uh, was it like game? Was it like you had already taken a game, or was it just like one game? It was it was it was game two. He had taken game one. But oh, like, okay. but that's still crazy. Yeah, because yeah, I had kind of like figured it out, you know. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it was uh, it was very sad. That All would right. Be fun. All right. So tomorrow we're gonna be back here again, and I think we're gonna see uh, Robert and Lowell on the rankings. So that'll be, I'll be interesting to see where you guys are. I'll be. Able I'm to on the rankings. I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> Want to be low thirties, but. Uh, I don't know if I'll actually be able to come on Ooh, tomorrow. But we'll I'm actually see. curious. Now I, I forget who's there. I want to look. Make sure to to give me that too, so you know I can right. tease, I can tease Robert with it. And let's say, that's tomorrow, uh, 44 to 35. Whoops. Yeah. Not Minimum, 34. I want to be at least like 33, 32, but we'll see. Maybe I, your waist size. I'm probably gonna end up being like fucking like 38 or something. Congratulations to low 44, just just below our porch. <laughs> All right, yeah. There's a <laughs> so. Uh, without spoiling anything, I will say that number 44 is gonna be a hotly contested one. Aren't they all? The hmm. number 44 is probably gonna be one that we have the most conversation about. More than Marvel. Really? Yeah. Is that gonna be we'll like see. Janko maybe? Ooh, Janko, Janko, wherever he is, is gonna be a lot of conversation. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's gonna be. But, interesting. oh, it's gonna be Star King, isn't it? There's some good. There are some good names in this next ten. So, so it's gonna be like either Star King, Core. Star King's probably Gear gonna be Madness. in the next ten. You all, uh, you all will find out at two p.m. Eastern uh, time tomorrow. I'll find out after this. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, we'll I'll, see. I'll tease you both for a little we'll bit. See. Uh, Dark, well, are you gonna... I, I won't be coming on most likely, but okay. we'll see. Okay. Uh, uh, I might be able to. You might be able to? Okay. I'll, I'll try and wrap some people in if I can't. But yeah, uh, oh, everybody... Bark City Bark would City be up for it tomorrow. So. I'll right, probably sweet, sweet. let you know like earlier. All right. Like probably like 7.30ish. Having Bark right. here would be good. Alrighty then. I think that's going to wrap us up for tonight. Yep. And uh, we'll all see you tomorrow for 44. Four through thirty-five, I think. I got yeah. Oh, wait, I do have a question before everyone leaves. Like, yeah. What's up? Uh, are these gonna go up on YouTube at all? Oh yeah. yeah the first it. one is up. Okay. All right. Maybe I'll do the cards again, cause. So we're gonna have like eight hours of us discussing rankings on YouTube by the end. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Good awesome. stuff. Good stuff. Be good for people on commutes and stuff. Yeah. Uh, everybody, thanks for watching. Dark. Robert, Later. Low. Everybody, thanks for tuning in. Too. Peace. See you guys.